Well, the results from election night are in. Republicans ruled the night in the volunteer state. Governor Bill Lee took home the win over his Democrat opponent, Dr. Jason Martin. Also, eight out of the nine Tennessee U.S. House seats are now occupied by Republicans. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell explains how the redrawn districts worked in Republicans' favor. Tennessee continues its tradition of being a deep red Republican state, but when you break down the election results by county, there are two areas where Democrats have an edge. It wasn't much of a surprise to News Channel 5 political analyst Pat Nolan that Governor Bill Lee was reelected. If he feels like that the vote means that the people of Tennessee support him with a 65% reelection number, that's it's hard to argue with that. What stands out more to Nolan? How different the results are out of Davidson and Shelby County are compared to the rest of the state. Inside Davidson County, Democratic candidates did very well last night. Outside Davidson County, they got creamed. Many eyes were on the state's congressional districts because prior to the election, GOP lawmakers redrew the boundaries of the district, dividing Nashville into three separate ones. Jim Cooper, deciding not to run, left the District 5 seat open for either state Senator Heidi Campbell or former Republican Maury County Mayor Andy Ogles. He won. You hope that you come to this moment, uh, but it's exciting. And But, you know, the real work is now. Uh, you know, the campaign was hard. The road ahead is going to be even harder. My opponent was funded by um, corporations and PACs, and that's who we're going to get representing us in District 5. And... Um, that's just, you know, what we're going to have to deal with going forward. Peter's thing, it's not just one seat in Tennessee. It's a seat in Tennessee that has not been held by a Republican since Reconstruction times. And also whose first congressman when Tennessee first became a state was a guy named Andrew Jackson. Nolan says the newly drawn districts helped Republicans in Middle Tennessee. At the same time, it brought out more Democratic voters, which is highlighted when the results are broken down by the county. The Republicans weren't always on top, they were on the bottom, and were on the bottom for a long time. Maybe that's what's going to happen, maybe this is going to continue. I, I, I'm beginning to wonder if, it's, if there's going to be a change in this in my lifetime. In Nashville, Erin Cantrell, News Channel 5. By the way, we asked Governor Lee's opponent, Jason Martin, what do Tennessee Democrats have to do to win again? He says they have to do a better job getting their message out, and they have to get more people to vote in the midterm elections. We have a full breakdown of the election results right now on newschannel5.com.